The greatest glory in living lies not in never failing, but in rising every time we fall. And that's the quote that I like to live by. My name is Raul Hernandez. I come from Mexico, but currently reside in the great city of Miami. Living in the United States, I was born here, but my family wasn't. And to get me here, well, let's just say, my family put it all on the line. They wanted me to have a better life. When they moved to Miami, they knew that there was a risk. That they could be sent back. And that they were. Just a few years ago, what seemed to be a normal day, my family taken from me. Just like that. They knew in bringing me here that there was the chance that this could happen. Being an illegal immigrant in the United States, especially in these times, is very, very tough. But with my parents gone, I was forced to move to a foster home and live on my own. Live this better life here in the United States without my family. gone I've been forced to live in a foster home I'm only 16 years old I'm going to school taking classes and also playing football you see football is my passion it's my dream it's what gets me out of bed every single morning I take classes and well me and my my newly appointed brother I guess you would call him my new best friend the one perk of moving into this foster home was getting to, to actually have someone to, to look up to an older brother of sorts he goes by the name of Blake and every single day we head out to the football pitch we get to work we go train in hopes of one day playing professionally but we both know it's a long shot it's far from reality we headed out today to play waiting our turn to get on the pitch when I noticed a new poster hung up that I'd not yet seen before which read Enter Miami trial, all are welcome. I reached over and reached out to my friend Blake. I said, yo man, we, we gotta go to this. This is our chance, this is our shot. It's open to all ages. Of course, I'm very young at 16, but him at 17 might have a bit more of a better chance. So after we got done training, we both we both took the, the trial into consideration. Could this be our chance to make it big? We both sort of looked at each other and nodded. We have to go for this. The trial had been complete. We had both participated and both played extremely well. And today was the day where the results would be posted and Inter Miami would be letting people know if anyone would be signing for the club, if they were gonna be taking anyone from the trial. Of course, hundreds of people showed up and hundreds of people were awaiting the result from the manager who had made the team, if anyone. The manager had his piece of paper in his clipboard, read the names and he slowly sorted through the players that were announced, one by one, one name after another. One more name on the list. And that's when I started spinning. And that's when I, I started getting people looking at me. H had, I just, had I just been chosen? When 
I heard my name, I, I completely blanked. I completely blacked out and I passed out right then and there. They'd call in me. I'd been chosen to play for Inter Miami. And the crowd had cleared, I'd awaken to paramedics and the manager. And he only said a few words. Be at training tomorrow. Can't wait to have you on this club. Now for the tough news. Blake. My good friend and who is basically a brother to me. He didn't make it. And with him about to turn 18, he's going to be out on his own. For me, I'd love to help him as much as I can with this professional contract. But I'm not going to be making much money to begin with. And I need to help my family as well. I need to reunite with them. So for now, it's goodbye to a brother. We'll see each other around, but not as often. It's time to move forward, and it's time to sign this contract. Roll Hernandez, welcome to Inter Miami. It's all right. It's all right. Here it is, the long-awaited return of the FIFA 21, my player. Here it is. Raul Hernandez, the Mexican legend, is beginning today, signing for Inter Miami back in the MLS for the first time in a while in this Mob Players series, and it feels good to be in the USA. Here is that starting Inter Miami team. It's looking good. We're going to be challenging for the league this year, but for us, it's just a first club to grow at. That is our goal, obviously starting out at a very low rating, it's gonna take time to work up to the top of the football world like we do every year in the Mob Player. And I couldn't be more excited to start here in the USA. Being from Mexico, it's been highly requested. We do a Mexican Mob Player. Here it is, boys. This is it. Let's get in to this long-awaited series. Starting at a 67 overall. We're already up to a 68 just like that. And we're moving in to our brand new home. And it feels so good to be out on my own. I just turned 17 and I'm just signing this professional football contract at such a young age. It feels almost surreal. And here we are going from obviously living in a foster home to this cannot be more exciting. Honestly, this is this is what my parents wanted me to do when we got to the USA. They wanted me to live this better life. But it just stinks that they have to be back in Mexico and really no way for me to reach them as of yet. I'm slowly working my way up this team and who knows, I could flop right away and, and that could be it. Constantly trying to reach out to my parents, but it's, it's a bit difficult. Since they were deported a few years ago, it's been on and off contact with them. Very difficult to reach them and that's my goal in signing this contract. Get back to them. My first day at training, and it's a bit surreal. Going from just basically playing footy, pick up games with, with my friends, and to this? It's surreal. I, it does, it legit does not feel real. Talking to the manager, I mean, he, he said it flat out. I gotta earn my place in the squad. Right now, I'm sitting third, second team at best. I'm nowhere near the starting 11. And just look at some of these guys out there Pizarro, Iguain, Matuidi. This is honestly a dream come true. Not even to mention, playing for David Beckham's squad. Will I get to meet Beckham? That's the one thing on my mind. For now, I just need to get to work. Improve that I belong on this team. Like the manager said, third team's basically where I'm at. We need to work our way up from the bottom to the top of this club. We're very young, we're very unproven. So it's unlikely we're gonna start many games to begin our career. So we just gotta perform on the training ground. And that's what we're going in and doing. So many new training drills as well in the my player mode, which is just awesome to see. Shooting, dribbling, some of these are old, some of these are new, but I feel like there's been a lot improved in the my player in terms of training drills. Overall, you guys have seen the series or seen the my player 
the FIFA 21. Not a lot of new features, but um, we're working with what we got here, boys. That's why we have the storylines to keep this series as entertaining as possible. One last drill, and then it's time to get into this season. Games would be far and few between. We hadn't been picked for the first four games, and it's looking like this may be it. We may have to go out on loan. Every night, going out for my run, trying to stay in the best shape as possible. Not playing the first month has been very, very difficult on myself, but it's what I expected. I mean, I'm 17 years old, and I'm an up-and-coming prospect at best. Inter-Miami took a chance on me, so me not playing is understandable. But then, in the middle of my run, the unthinkable happened. Phone call from an unknown number. And who else was on the other end? David Beckham. Yes, the owner of Inter Miami called to say I'd be in the starting 11 for the first time ever next game. They're giving me a chance to shine. They've seen the work I've been putting in and I've been selected. So this is it. If we perform, I would hope we continue playing. But if we don't, it could be the last time we see the pitch in a while. Let's get in to the debut. Houston Dynamo, one of the reasons we're playing a team that you don't necessarily see at the top of the MLS standings, so we're getting a chance against a smaller club. And the names in this lineup are crazy that I'm being forced to play out of position at the left midfield slot. You guys saw that I'm a central attacking midfielder, or have I even made that known yet? We're a central attacking midfielder playing out of position here at left mid simply because the talent everywhere else is just a bit too strong. It's the only place the manager could fit us in. Understandable, we have to shine no matter where we're playing, midfield, wherever. I will play goalkeeper if I have to. And to get things started, the superb passing leads to this. It is 1-0 Inter Miami out in front. Only eight minutes into the game. It's not a goal for myself. It's not an assist, but we need to prove we can play successful football at the top level, and that's what we're doing right here. Golasso, 1-0 into Miami, taking the lead, and it feels so good. It feels so good to get those nerves out, the first touches out of the way. This doesn't feel good, though. Is this a flop? Is this a dive? To me, it sure looks like it. A penalty is called almost straight after we scored that first goal. Houston Dynamo sent to the spots. What are we thinking of this? It looks like the ball took a deflection off the leg of the defender. And then the attacker just kind of fell into the defender. I don't know about that. I don't know about FIFA 20. What are we saying, boys? I think we need VAR in this. Oh, boy. Another year of this. Is this, is this what's happening, EA? Oh, boy. The penalty kick taker takes it. And, of course, he's going to slot it in. We knew it wasn't going to be an easy game, especially on my debut. My first game in MLS, I'm you know, flowing well with the rest of the team, but games don't just come that easy. It's going to be a lot difficult at this level, and I'm slowly learning that, that every single move needs to be perfect. And so far, here we go. One all. There's only one thing left to do, right? Is show the boss what I can do. Skill. And it's back to Hernandez for the debut finish. Things you love to see? This right here. I mean, the one two of dreams and then the finesse shot on my right. That's a thing of beauty. It really is. And it's something that I've been working on this past month. While I haven't been playing in the games necessarily, I've been training and I've been putting in good work, learning a lot of stuff from players like Higuain, like Blaze Matsuidi. I've been learning from these legends. And I think that's one thing the manager's gonna see in this game as we're actually gonna go on in that a second. I mean, for someone who was basically picked off the streets, the Mexican legend is truly at work. It's 2-0, and this could be a hat trick. 
We are only about 30 minutes into this first half. There is a huge, huge, huge chance that we can push forward and score a third. Look at this skill, man. I'm telling you, training pays off. When you don't play in every single game, you got to learn somewhere, and you got to prove yourself somewhere, and we're putting those skills to work. Oh, my goodness. The finish of dreams. That's a bit ridiculous. That's a bit mad right there. I mean, what a goal. Two to one, three to one, excuse me, as we head in to this halftime break. The chances were there, man. I'll tell you what, a handful for defenders to say the freaking least. We've taken two shots. We've converted both goals. And we're walking off the field with a bit of swag right there. 3-1 Houston Dynamo. I don't think you guys got a shot of coming back. We'll find out. They would have their chances. 68th minutes. What a save from our goalkeeper, Inter Miami. The new team in MLS, the first season they will be competing in. So far, so good. And so far, even better. You're kidding me. You know what? I'll take credit for that pass right there. But what is this header? Um, Excuse me? How has he wrapped his head around this? Actually, though, how has he wrapped? Someone tell me how he's wrapped his head around that. Because I will have no idea for as long as I live. What a freaking goal, boys. It's 4-1. What a debut. What a game. The second one of the season for Inter Miami. They started out slow. But when you put the boy Hernandez in... He's going to score goals, and that's what we've proven. Man of the match, 100%. Two goals, an assist, and the manager's going to be leaving the pitch, and I think he's going to be looking around saying, yo, why haven't we been playing this dude all season? This is what we needed. We took our chances. Being someone who was just given a trial at this club, signed on very, very recently, and doing this is almost unheard of. What a start to our career. The sports world is in shock, and they don't really know what to call me. The, the, the Mexican legend, the American legend, because you guys know I, I was born in the USA, but my parents are from Mexico, so people are a bit confused. I haven't really made anything known, and I'm all the talk, man. What a game. I think people here in the MLS are, are, are a bit stunned that the Inter Miami has found this hidden gem, and I'm very excited for this career, and I'm very uncertain of my future. Football has always been my passion, but I need to get back to my family. And I need to do it as soon as possible. It's been too long. The day still haunts me when I last left them. And I know looking out my window that they're out there somewhere. Hopefully, looking back. <laughs>